Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm gonna go over the sprite zero. So with that said, let's do this. Alright, so let's go over the sprite zero hit flag over here, which is gonna be useful for our status bar or scoreboard. It's pretty much gonna be our user interface, which you're gonna relay all the information that we want to the player. And you can see right over here under this picture what it does. So that happens when a non-transparent pixel of sprite zero overlaps a non-transparent pixel of the background. And when that happens, the special flag is set. And to show you why we want to use this sprite zero hit flag, so let's go over the last uh, section or the last video, which I went over is horizontal scrolling. And here the status bar scrolling to the left and don't have nothing. As your game, as your Mario going forward. But if I were to open the actual Mario game, Super Mario Bros. So here it is. So let's start the game. And as you see, as Mario is moving forward, the status bar is remaining stationary as the horizontal, as the horizontal scrolling is happening. And if I were to go under our PPU viewer, so let's go over our sprite viewer. So right here, sprite zero is this guy over here. So it's overlapping this area. If I go over actually the character viewer over here, which is all the information for our game. Here is the coin and here is the sprite. So you see the sprite is under the coin over here. So I have both of them one on top of the other. So that is setting the special sprite zero flag. So it's telling the NES as we are at this location and that's gonna help us so here is the same thing so let me just go back to the tutorial let me close this and I'll go back to the tutorial so that happens so we're telling the you can see here in the picture as well it's being highlighted this is where we are and if you go right over here at the end of the tutorial here is the order so first you start I scroll to zero so your status bar is not moving then you have this sprite zero wait, then it hits, then the latest the scan finish drawing, and then set the background level scrolling. So that's pretty it's a quick, it's gonna be a quick video, but that's how we covering over here. So this comes over here to tell us we are right over here. So at this point downwards is the screen is drawing left to the right. We want to start scrolling, but at before that, we don't. So it's pretty much what's happening over here. And here's the code. It's pretty much almost identical to the to this code over here. Just sprite zero for to run. It's pretty much it. A red hat compile. It's the same thing is happening over here. It's highlighted here too. So let's go back to the code. It's pretty much the same if you see over here. Let me go over here because they're bigger font. Here, just make sure the PPU address is registered is such a zero. And here we set this no scrolling status bar over here. So we don't want it to move. So set it to zero twice. Remember once it's horizontal and it's vertical. And then you're gonna set all this information again and no most per frame, pattern zero, etc. And here the same thing again. Uh, and of course, no clipping on the left side, which you have here on the NAS NAS dev, more information about the sprite zero hits. And here's all of them when this does not happen, when it hits happens, regardless. But it, it says right over here, if left side clipping window is enabled, it doesn't happen. So make sure that is set. And then, so here we set no scrolling, which is the, over here, set nothing to happen. And then here I have way to not sprite zero. So it's pretty much if you read over here. So name, we make sure the sprite zero hit flag is cleared to avoid trip from the previous window. Because as soon as those two overlap, the six bit over here, as so you see here, the six bit, when you look this PPU port 2002, is set. And it's only gonna be unset at the beginning of v blank. So at the beginning of a new frame, that is when it's gonna be set to zero. So we're doing this is make sure uh, that it's not hit over here. So make sure that this uh, let's see, six bit under this PPU port 
our sprite zero hit flag is set to zero. So branch y not equals zero. So when it is zero, let's go to the other section of our code. So now we are sure that's not it's zero. So now we can actually have a tell us where we are on the screen. So now all we have to do now is actually wait till it's hit. Remember waiting for it's hit because there is once per frame we are not scrolling at all. So here you're gonna wait. So it does hit, so it does overlap the section of the, the code. And then when is this section is gonna happen? So you finish this to order. Now here is the latest scan line to finish drawing. So when it's finished, the PPU is still drawing the pixel of the sprite zero. So what we do is add a small loop to wait till the rest of the status bar is drawn because it just hit that area over here. I don't know why I keep closing it. Let me run again. So it's drawn over here, but there's more stuff to draw over here, as you see a little bit. You know, the downwards so just give a little bit of a time over here. So the rest of the status bar is drawn. And then after it's done, which is a quick, just a 10 quick loop over here, then we set it to scrolling. And that's pretty much it. And that's all the set order. But the only thing that we have to keep in mind, we have to actually over here, change something over here. It is in the previous draw column code, the handling of the graphics. We need to make some difference. First is just have to increase uh, the address by 80 because there's four rows of the background that's it's not gonna be displayed over there. And the source address is increased by four for the same reason. So let me go back over here and run task, run emulator. So, well, so this section over here, which is not moving, we want to actually ignore, not ignore, but we offsetting this section under, under our draw column section that we covered from the last video, which makes sense. So this part of the code is not horizontally scrolling, so you don't really need to uh, draw a new, well, we do need to draw a new, oh, a new column, but this section is set, it's fixed. And the other color that we need to be scrolling, it's always updating, those needs to be scrolling. So that's pretty much it. And uh, that's covered this video. Of course, uh, when you make our game, you're going to have our code changing over here. So it's no, it's not just stuck, but you get the idea again. You can always change it over here. So it can have an actual, if you see here, the actual Mario game once again. We, of course, we're going to have to have a code over here, not only for the, all this information we display, we can have our timer and everything all together. But that's this is the end of this video and the end of the advanced tutorial. In the next video, I'm going to go over the audio part of it, at least up to part three. And then I'm going to start a new series, which is we're going to start creating our NAS game. But with that all said, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.